there, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome. My name is Juan Edmond Lime, alias Eddie Bobo. Mama, so one cause. And so today we are going to be having um, El Clasico matches, El Clasicos at the Gia Football Stadium today, ladies and gentlemen. And of course, it's going to be the second round of uh, Ewanekan Elvis Memorial Trophy that has been donated by Princess Ebude Ewane Rita alias Shishu, the wonderful daughter of Ngia. And of course, it's a second round of the competition. We are into the second round of the competition and it is a day four. And we are having very uh, crucial encounters today. Uh, we are talking about uh, the men or the male category uh, that we are going to be having today, Sunday, the 7th of uh, this uh, month of august at Kia uh, unity stadium or Kia solidarity stadium and it's going to be an amazing moment ladies and gentlemen today uh but before i bring you uh, the standings and the classification and, and the uh, 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 and, and the pairings of uh, the matches of today look at uh, these images i'll be right back Okay, ladies and gentlemen, you're welcome back. Now, let us look at the standings of the competition and then uh, followed by the pairings of today's matches. And before I bring you the pairings, ladies and gentlemen, uh, let me bring you the standings of the competition. And in the first position, we have uh, Red Stars of Mazen with 16 points plus 7 goals. And the second position, we have Bazaar FC with 15 points plus uh, 3 goals. And the third position, we have Strikers of Muelong with 10 points plus one goal and the fourth position we have Posta FC of Puala with 10 points and minus one goal at the fourth uh, fifth position we have Abu uh, boys uh, of Moniguba uh, with 10 points and minus one goal and we have Santos FC of Mbad at the last position of the classification table with eight points and minus two goals uh, ladies and gentlemen we know that uh, santos fc have not been at the top form of this competition and that's why they are occupying that last position this year ladies and gentlemen but we respect them because they have they hold a very powerful history or a very powerful uh, 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 um, record as far as india football uh, is concerned three 13 consecutive uh, times they won the trophy and we cannot take them for granted and uh, they can uh, do anything at any time we know who they are and uh, they are wonderful uh, guys that we have in that uh, Santos uh, team and uh, ladies and gentlemen I haven't having presented you the standings of the male category I'm going to be bringing you the uh, parents of today and I call all of the matches El Clasicos and in the first match or oh, we are going to be having Posta FC versus of Pola versus Strikers of Muelong. And in the second game, and of course, that's going to be a very powerful game because 
we have uh, strikers of Melon at the third uh, on the third position there on the classification table, and uh, Puzda uh, are just below them at the third uh, fourth position with ten points. Both of both teams are with uh, ten points. What makes a difference is just uh, the number of goals. Where we have uh, strikers uh, having a plus one goal and uh, Puzda with minus one goal. Therefore, today this match is going to be uh, a do or die match. <laughs> Clash of the Titans. And uh, ladies and gentlemen, in the second game, we are going to be having Abu FC of uh, Mwaninguba versus uh, Santos uh, FC of Mbat. That's also going to be a very powerful uh, game because, of course, Abu FC um, probably not going to uh, lose to Santos, to have Santos uh, 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 stand in front of them. And, of course, today is a very, a, a very a, a, a difficult day because... Uh, when if Abu loses to Santos today, pro they are probably going to be out of the competition. And uh, likewise, uh, if Santos loses to Abu today, they are going to be out of the competition. And of course, Posta is not saved as far as we are looking at uh, the competition. As strikers as well are not saved. All of these teams are uh, must win their games today to take um, uh, to make a step to the next stage of the competition. I'm talking about strikers. Who are with 10 points, post that 10 points, Abu 10 points, and Santos FC. They must win, play to win today to go to the next uh, stage of the competition. Uh, so far, we have only Restars and Bazo who are sure to, or who are already candidates uh, of the next stage of the competition, which uh, of course will be the semi finals, ladies and gentlemen. And, uh, of course, in the third game, which is also going to be a very tough and crucial one, and where the both teams are going to be... are going to be expected to play very uh, strongly to maintain a top uh, position in this uh, tournament. And, uh, or, 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 in this tournament, ladies and gentlemen. And, of course, it's going to be Bazo FC of Mwabi versus Restars of Mwasum. And we know that restars of Mwasum are at the top uh, of the competition with 16 points plus seven goals and Basel is just below them uh, 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 with 15 points plus uh, three goals uh, ladies and gentlemen and that makes uh, that third match a very special match today I call it the top of the classicos that we are going to be having today ladies and gentlemen this is uh, the toughest uh, competition we have ever had in the uh, year as far as year football is concerned i call it a replica of uh, pre english premier league of england of course where we have teams always work at uh, being at the same level we have this one coming up today and this one tomorrow going down a little bit tomorrow and this one coming up tomorrow and that's what makes a uh, competition uh, the pre english premier league uh, competition very special uh, a league where we have we, we cannot really predict which team will emerge champions of uh, the league and uh, ladies and gentlemen i take you to the women category where we are uh, 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 having uh, uh, we are going to be having uh, the next day of play on tuesday and uh, the classification or the standings of uh, the women category is as follows uh, santos uh, women are at the first position with nine points plus six goals Bazo fc women uh, second position with six points plus uh, three goals and post that women six points plus two goals and the fourth position we have a strikers women zero points minus three goals and uh, benjamin of uh, the competition uh restars of uh, Mwasum, my women our sisters and our mothers zero points minus eight goals we are expecting them to do better next year ladies and gentlemen because football was made in Mwasum. Whether I agree with or not, <laughs> I usually say that if uh, uh, trophies were awarded to teams as, as far as uh, 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 performance is concerned during uh, the tournament, then during the last uh, recent years, the uh, FC uh, 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 Restars of Mwasum will be awarded the trophies uh, because they have always had a phenomenal performance. And they have always stopped the leak in recent years. Ladies and gentlemen, 
We are going to be having an amazing moment today. But before we go, ladies and gentlemen, it should not be forgotten that another important part of the tournament or uh, to give the tournament a special uh, a, 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 a historic registration is that Princess Ebudewana has launched a program to train young girls of Ngia. And of course, the program is ongoing and uh, the, the, the girls are expected to register in the program with uh, just a token of 1,000 uh, uh, CFA francs that's just to 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 to, to make it uh, um, or to give it a grand day it deserves uh, we i mean she probably did not want to have them register but uh, i think for them to take it serious they have to get an engagement or uh, of registering uh, to participate in that program with a token of one thousand uh, 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 francs uh, and at the end of the training we are going to be having the best uh, 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 candidate who shall be uh, uh, given uh, uh, um a support to start a small scale business ladies and gentlemen and all of these are the works of uh, princess uh, ebude ewane of uh, the daughter the great daughter of uh, chief george enongene of uh, mwabi and uh, ladies and gentlemen uh, the girls are very very much into the program and it's ongoing ladies and gentlemen uh, this is what is going to make this year's uh, uh, competition a very a special one ladies and gentlemen we are going to be having an amazing moment today yeah but before we go special thanks to princess ebude ewane winter who also donated uh, the trophy for the women category god bless you all and stay tuned <laughs> Oh, 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 oh,